Howdy and scale guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2, and in today's video, we are just going to be going over some of Zura's brand new wares, of course, choose the reset boys, meaning we might actually get a reveal for season 17 this week, oh my god, it's going to be so glorious, more content boys, we're all about content, but if you did not know, every Tuesday when, obviously, we get a reset, Zura is meant to leave, and he's meant to disappear, but if there's no maintenance, and we can stay logged in, you can keep an instance of Zura up, and you will have a bunch of legendary random rolls, and a bunch of different weapons than the previous week it's actually really cool it's called the glitch azur we basically strip him down freaking hold him here with a rope and yeah he has to give us his freaking legendaries but what we're going to be going over is going to be all of his roles so the first one he's going to have is a seven seraph si2 with elemental threat detector range master honestly not the worst role this thing could actually probably clap next up is going to be a whispering slab demolitionist archer's tempo with an accuracy of masterwork as well honestly not too bad but if you're going for anything there it's going to be freaking swash book there you go Eternal Blazing with, of course, Disruption Break, Rapid Hit with some nice ass sights as well, but it's a scare rifle. Good for PvE, maybe not PvP. We also have the Long Shadow, which is going to have the Explosive Payload firmly planted and some decent scopes, but again, this isn't really a god roll for a sniper of anything. We got a Widow's Bite again with firmly planted. I don't know what the firmly planted is about, but not a bad roll, honestly, but again, definitely for 140s, there is better rolls. For the 7th Zeraf, we do have opening shot crown card to regenerate Shea and everything like that. Honestly, not the worst draw for an LMG. Definitely some better ones, though. Obviously, for next season, too, when the bus arcs could start coming in. And last but not least, we're going to have the Royal Entry Rocket Launcher with crown cartridge, threat detector, black powder, and all this sort of crap. As I said, not the bestest rolls, I will honestly say. When it comes to rolls this week, when it comes to the random glitch rolls, anyway, Zer isn't really packing anything very special. I will say definitely, yeah. Uh, probably just better off waiting until next weekend. As I said, this 7th Zeraf isn't bad. But it is definitely, I think, all of his roles. There is none here where I will be like, oh my god, you got a glitch to serve right now to go get a roll. Because his glitch roll weapons, not really the greatest. So this week, can kind of take a break, boys. You can be excited, though, because as I said, we should get some information about Season 17. I'm freaking hyped, boys. The sidearm meta is nearly upon us, boys. But regardless, if you like the video, trust like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. Fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see the next collective in the next one.